OTF TV gang 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 shit. So I got a story outside the realm of boxing. I need you guys to fuck with me on this one, man, and just pay attention to some real shit I'm getting ready to speak on now. R. Kelly has been making the news just as much as Bill Cosby has been making the news lately about this sex scandal that R. Kelly has going on with these underage females and how he has a coat and, you know, he has his women locked up in his house and he locks their, their bedroom doors at a certain time and don't let them leave and he allows them to eat what he wants them to eat and they got to dress how he wants them to dress and... I mean, this is a whole bunch of, you know, crazy shit going on with R. Kelly, man. And the thing about it is, R. Kelly has a repeating pattern of shit that he's done. I mean, if we take it back to the early beginnings, when this man was 27 and he married Aaliyah when she was 15, and then, um, you know, falsified her age, um, you know, saying that she was 18 years old. I mean, this man had a whole ceremony, um, with a with a 15 year old. If you look at Aaliyah's album cover that year. Um, you see R. Kelly ass in the, in the background, you know what I'm saying, with his foot against the wall creeping. I think the album was called Age of Nothing But a Number or something like that. But you see him on the, in, the, in the back of the cut looking and shit like, yeah, like praying on her and shit. You know what I'm saying? And we already seen from the interviews and everything else that they had some type of deep connection, some type of deep bond. They were fucking basically is what I'm trying to say. He was fucking a minor, okay? Then the incident came out. He was fucking like his god niece or some shit like that. You know, the, the video came out and everybody tried to say that was that wasn't R. Kelly. It was Damon Wayans. Listen, that was not Damon Wayans and that sex tape, okay? That was not Damon Wayans. <laughs> that was motherfucker R. Kelly, man. That was R. Kelly. He told her, it seems like you're ready. You know what I'm saying? She reminded him of his Jeep. And, you know, that's the same video where he, you know, eating a little girl booty and shit and he peed on her and shit. And at that time, she was a minor. But, of course, R. Kelly paid the bandos to get all of that information sucked under the rug. And, of course, you know, all type of non-disclosures were signed that, you know, wouldn't be talked about again. And then, I mean, just incident after incident. And now it's come out that, uh, you know, another girl's come out, um from a previous case that R. Kelly paid off and she says she doesn't give a fuck. She's gonna, even though she signed a non-disclosure, she's still gonna talk about what happened. And she came out and she said, it's, it's, it's not just her, it's been multiple victims. Multiple victims. R. Kelly has been going around doing this to multiple girls, hanging out at his local high school he went to back in the 80s and shit, um, you know, the 70s and 80s and shit when he was in school, he still goes there and hang out and picks up women and uh, you know, he got to a, a condo or apartment around the corner from the school. He can just go drop them off. And he feeds on the mentality of a young person because a young person doesn't have the, the ability to understand when they're being used or understand when something, something is happening. They're caught up in this fairy tale land of R. Kelly. He's this big superstar. He can promise me this, that, and the third. I'm so pressed to be a celebrity. I want to be famous. I want to be known. I want to be somebody. And then they get caught up in this bullshit and end up getting their back blown out by this fucking man. I mean, even now, like, this shit, you know, he's being boycotted by women, you know what I'm saying, this, the Silence R. Kelly campaign, and this dude seems to have no emotion. I remember even in the interview when they were asking him, you know, do you like teenagers? Would you date a teenager? And this motherfucker had a second guess, like, oh, what you mean by teenager? Motherfucker, a teenager. You 13, 14 and up, motherfucker. What are you talking about? And you try to, oh, you mean like 19, 18 and 19? Like, you know what the fuck we talking about, R. Kelly, okay? Minors, motherfucker. So I don't know what the big surprise, I mean, what the big, you know, it, everyone's shocked and yada, 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 but R. Kelly has a history of being a pedophile, and uh, basically the point of this video is, I can't stand motherfuckers like this. Child molesters, you know, men who prey on underage women, like, that's some crazy-ass coward, trifling, nasty, demonic-ass shit, and people like that always get what they deserve in the long run. Um, R. Kelly needs to change, man. It needs to change, and, and, and something needs to be done. If this situation is true with this cult and these underage girls, man, something needs to be done because it's not cool at all. I don't respect it. And at the end of the day, you're not a fucking man. You're not.